Hello there, Sarah from 17 once again. This is my Doom Eternal, The Ancient Gods Part 2, Nightmare, All Escalations video walkthrough. This is the fourth level and final level of the DLC known as the Dark Lord. And I know you were all eagerly anticipating this video because this fight's garbage. And all you do is wait for him to glow green and stun him and then chain damage on him after a hammer. You run around the environment getting your hammer back by two glory kills, you get your armor back using fire and then when he summons the phantoms you shoot them and then at the end when it's a ton of them you can use the hammer to get rid of all of them. And there is five stages of this then it never changes, it's just tedium on top of tedium. And uh, I don't want to shit on this boss fight guys in this video so instead I'm going to talk about what I thought it was going to be and what I think it should have been. And I'm going to preface this by saying that I understand that Hugo Martin was limited with this fight, with what they could do because of budget and time and DLC as opposed to a full game, and this is potentially not what they wanted it to fully be, but what you did ain't good enough, Chief. This ain't it. And I, I love your game, and if you ever watch this, because I know you do watch some Doom content, and in the, the miracle that it is that you're listening to my voice, uh, I think you've... You've created something wonderful, and I think the foundation is absolutely there. I just think it needs more gestation, and I think it needs different ideas, because it doesn't work. So when, when I first beat The Ancient Gods Part 1, and I realized that we were fighting against a clone of ourselves, it, I thought it was going to be literally another Slayer running around with all the same tools that you have, all the same moves that you have, in an arena that is filled with mobility options and power-ups and pickups and stuff, and it was, it was going to be a PvE, PvP encounter. And my imagination runs wild with that because I think of Virgil in Devil May Cry, I think of Azel in God Hand, I think of the double bogey fight in Vanquish, I think about Japanese masters who have absolutely conquered these 1v1 rival fights into some of the most majestic, long-standing, skillful and interesting encounters, and that's not what we got. And I even went as far as to think that maybe there'd be an option that you could actually fight another player. I thought maybe it was going to be really crazy PvP, where it was just you taking on somebody that gets summoned into your world like Old Monk, which would have been absolutely absurd. But what I didn't think it was going to be was a lame marauder that's a, just a huge robot with a with everything that heals it and then nothing that's interesting or remotely fun and challenging. Like the only thing that's difficult about this fight is, is how tedious it is compared to how good this game is. And I heard on, on Hugo's streams that the Gladiator took two years to develop. Uh, the Gladiator fight is one of my favourite bosses in the game but if I were to say that I think that boss is still quite weak, uh, I would be understating just how weak I think that fight is because I think that the Gladiator is essentially just a, a marauder with a skipping rope. and. I don't really understand how that takes two years because I'm ignorant of the design process and the testing and everything and I, I think the artwork there is sublime but I think mechanically it's just not where it needs to be. And the one area where I think you could fix this would have been to increase the Dark Lord's moveset. I originally thought instead of having the green notification I thought when he wound up on moves there would be a window to interrupt him that would stun him and that you would be able to counter punch and learn his timings and have a counter for each of the things he did. I thought he was going to pull out an energy shield and you could damage the energy shield and get a little bit of a stun, you know? I thought he was going to do certain things that would, would limit him in certain ways and there would be these hard counters. I thought he was going to be the equivalent of all the weak points and all the, 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 the counter tools to specific weaknesses on the demons individually all encapsulated into one fight that tests everything you've learned. and. Apparently my ambition and my imagination is a terrible thing because it's it's just it was never on the cards It was never going to be that and then what we get is this this hungry hippo whack-a-mole uninteresting fight That's completely tedious and 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 I really dislike it And I don't know what they're gonna do to to, to change it because it's like, if you've never played God Hand, guys, in God Hand, every single move in the game, pretty much, if you punch it at the right time, you'll interrupt it, and you will get enough time to do a whole host of wonderful countermeasures, because the game is immaculately designed. God Hand is a misunderstood game. It got 3 out of 10 when it was reviewed back in the day. Not many people even played it, or even played it to understand just how majestic and how well it was programmed. God Hand is an absolute masterpiece that if you've never played, there's so much going on in that game, you might not notice it for all the stupid Japanese goofiness. But I'm telling you right now guys, every single move in that game, if you know your frame data, you can hit it 
and you can get advantage you. Can you imagine this fight if you could stun the Dark Lord on any move he does if you learn when the opening is and what to hit it with? Can you imagine how interesting that would be, learning those tells, learning those, those, those different strategies and swapping between your arsenal in response to what he's doing? Can you imagine how dynamic that would feel? And once again, the devs did a great job with what they wanted to do, it's just what they wanted to do, ain't it? And I know that that's one person's not very humble opinion, but I don't know anyone who likes this fight. And I think it's quite evident why no one likes this fight, because if you shoot the boss out of his green phase, all you do is heal him. If the boss hits you, all it does is heal him. The pattern does not change, it's not sophisticated, it's not demanding, it's not a test of everything you've learned. It's literally... Brain dead. It's brain dead. And I, and I hate to say that because I love Doom Eternal and I, and I had high hopes for this DLC, I had the highest of hopes. I thought this fight was going to be legendary, I thought we were going to be playing it till the dawn of time. I thought it was going to be one of those fights that you're always wanting to see gameplay because someone's going to do something cool and discover something cool and after this recording guys, I will never fight this boss again, never. I, unless they change him and they, they listen to something and they realise that you know, you made the equivalent of the Asylum Demon if he was in a wheelchair with no hammer and he never moved. And the Asylum Demon even then would be harder than this. Because it's shit.